Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about unit testing on a patch value method of a form group with form control in reactive forms. So, I have explained a clear difference between a set value and the patch value and what is the purpose of a patch value in my angular tutorial video and also reactive forms playlist. I'll provide the link in the description for better understanding. Please watch that before continuing this video. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here I have created a form group with two controls that is username and the password and also I have introduced the default form values that is username and address. That means address is something which is not existing in my form control even though we will not get any problem with the patch value. Here I have created a reset form and when the user clicks on this we are using a patch value instead of set value. Why? Because set value will always check the number of controls and the exact controls which are inside our object here patch value will does not restrict the user to give the values which are inside the form control instead it will match the form control key with our object key if they match then it will override the value otherwise it will ignore so let me show you the demo let me give psi at 123 and 1 2 3 4 5 let me click on reset in this case, the sci at gmail.com has been overridden, but password was not overridden. Why? Because we are not passing a password key and the value inside the object. And also we are not getting any error here. So now let me go here and go to the pack file and create two variables. Let me create a let fixture as a variable which is of type component fixture and which is of type app component. And let me give let component instance colon what is my instance that is app component is my instance let me go and here we are using a reactive forms module because in our application we are going with the form controls and form groups which present in the reactive forms module and after the compilation is done then my fixture will be equivalent to my test bed dot create component of app component so i am creating a component called as app component and creating that fixture let me give component instance is equal to fixture dot component instance i am assigning our component instance that is app component instance to your component instance variable so now in this case let me use it and here i am using a callback function and inside the it what we are checking is patch value check so before checking, I want to bind the TS reactive form controls with my HTML form control names. For that sake, let me detect the changes and then fixture dot when stable. Whenever this is stable, I'll get a promise based and inside the promise based, let me have a callback function and also let me minimize this. And now let me get the values of this particular username and the password. Go here and create ID is equal to username and ID is equal to password and then go with the reset ID is equal to reset button. So let me save this. Now go to your spec file and get that HTML contents. HTML that means username element colon HTML input element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of it is of id so hash username and also let me update the value for this let me give value is equal to psi123 and then i want to give a username element dot dispatch event i want to trigger an event called as event of input so i want to trigger an input event and then let me get the password element let me copy this all three statements paste here and let me change the to password element password element and my id is equal to password now my password element value will be something like one two three four and let me dispatch the event after every dispatch or all the dispatches happen i want to detect the changes over the fixture fixture dot detect changes and then fixture dot when stable whenever it is stable i'll get a callback function inside the callback function let me go and check the values in my elements that username will have psi123 and i'll have a value with a password field 1234 now what i want to do is let me get the button element 
btn element colon html button element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what I want to do here I want to get the ID that means hash go to HTML copy this reset button paste here so I got the element that is a button element and let me create a mock function mock function that is our spy on of component instance comma what is the button or the method we will be calling on clicking on that button reset form and the dot call through we will be using call through just to call that mock function whenever the button is clicked let me click on this button btn element dot click off and then I'll be calling that mock function let me expect of mock function dot to have been called a times of one it should call one times so this mock function will be called whenever the mock function is called then our patch value will be invoked and what are the default fam values that means username and the password now this user may name will be updated this username will be updated with i at the gmail but the password will be same so let's check that after clicking this i want to expect component instance dot form group dot get off my username value that means username value dot value this will give the value and it should be equal to the value which we passed from the default values so component instance dot default form values dot username whereas our expectation for the same but now the case is password so let me copy this expectation paste here and let get the password value but this time we are using a patch value so we are not passing any password inside this default values in this case whatever the value which we have entered from the event that will be existing let me copy this and then paste here so let me save this and here the value will be one two three but we got one error why because the value whatever we will be getting from the password is of type a string by default it is string so we can expect a type of string so we can use something like this save here now the total test cases has been successfully passed so this is how we can check our patch value patch value will be changing only the controls which are matching with our keys of an object which we have passed to a patch value hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you